Now, this may be unbearably smug, but to be honest, I, I love our ink. I, I really do. I just think it's amazing. Now, as you know, we're engaged in making a Silar machine, and as part of that Silar machine, we had to paint some hot plates. So if you want to see how to um, use the ink to make hot plates, then have a look at that. Um, I think it's a paint-on hot plate for Silar on 3D printer. Have a look at that. But equally, that Silar machine uh, uses limit switches to give position information, and they run on 12 volts. And I want that position put into an Arduino, and an Arduino takes a 5 or 3.3 volt input, actually a 5 volt input on the uh, pin 0 to 13, although some of the pins do take 3.3 volts, but we want 5 volts. And our machine runs on 12 volts, and 12 volts is going to come from those limit switches. I mean, nothing in the way of current, but we still have that voltage. And I need to uh, change that voltage down to 5 volts in order to be able to input it directly into the Arduino to read the state of the switch with the Arduino. And that means dropping that voltage somehow. Now, a standard way of doing this when picking up different voltages from sensors and putting them into a microcontroller is something called a voltage divider. Voltage dividers are great in certain circumstances for dropping voltage, but there are conditions where you have to be careful, like if there's a vastly variable load on it, or if it has, uh, it's an AC, so you've got an impedance and you might need a capacitor, all that sort of stuff. But a straightforward 12 volt DC with very little variation that's coming under no real load conditions, like a sensor, is ideal for a voltage divider to drop the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts. Now a voltage divider looks like this. So as you see, you have the voltage in on one side and that first resistor R1, then another resistor R2 and then it goes to ground. And you pick off the voltage you want in between resistor R1 and R2. And depending on the ratio of R1 to R2, which follows this rule, Depending on that ratio is what that voltage out is going to be. Now it turns out with 12 volts in and 5 volts out, I want 1.4 times R1 will equal the value of R2. Another way of creating a voltage divider is to use a potentiometer. Potentiometer has three legs. It's got the start, then the sweep, the out, and then the middle, which moves, making it variable. If I put it to a position, what I have in fact got is a voltage divider. Now I need eight of them because I've got eight limit switches and I have a number of choices on how to do this. And I did think about wiring up the resistive network. I did think about wiring in the potentiometers. And then I thought, hang on, I just painted those hot plates with our ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those voltage dividers from our ink on this bit of plastic. Dead simple. All I have to do is paint eight lines these will go to ground, these will go to in, and somewhere in that ratio of 1.4 to 1, I need to drill a hole and stick the Arduino input wire into that hole and put a, put a bit of paint on it. And as long as I maintain that ratio and I've got a reasonable amount of resistance across that line, what I'll have is a set of voltage dividers. So I'm going to use our ink to make a voltage divider plate that I'm then going to use in our uh, Silar machine. So all I'm going to do is um, mask that, paint that, drill it. So let's get on with that. So here's my bit of acrylic and I've masked it out, a couple of bits of masking tape and I've used some um, Kapton tape there actually. I had to just use the Kapton because it's nice and thin I we can get the eight lines there easily on this piece of acrylic. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those will be my voltage dividers. Now we're painting onto plastic so with the ink, you need to give it a little bit of priming first. But the priming is really simple. You just put a bit of the ink onto a cloth and rub it onto the plastic. So it's as simple as that to prime it. Once it's primed, we can give it a coat. So we prime it, and then we dry it, and then we can paint over it. If you don't prime the plastic, the ink will bead. But remember, it's a graphene ink, so it seems that this little sort of rubbing trick 
um, spreads the graphene onto the surface of the plastic, or at least I'm guessing, guys, okay? So it spreads the surface onto the surface of the plastic and allows me to paint over it afterward. So we just give that little bit of time to dry. So we've primed that by giving it a rub over the surface with the ink, let it dry, and then we can just paint straight over it with the ink, and the ink will now adhere to that plastic surface. And then we dry that again. It's dry and we can peel off the masking tape to reveal our eight lines. Okay, let's drill it. Okay, so that's it finished. We'll have a better look at it in a moment. I just want to point out that it's actually connected to the power supply and uh, I've set the power supply at 12 volts and I've also got my digital reader here and it's reading 4.9 volts so it's 0.1 of a volt difference which is about 1%. If you think about resistors they're usually 5 or 10% in error anyway so 1% fantastic. So we've got 12 volts in, 5 volts out of our painted voltage divider so let's have a better look at the divider. And there it is. So all I've done with this, once I've painted the lines, I've painted this bar because obviously they all go to ground and attach to ground wire. And these are my eight voltage dividers. And if we look at the reverse, you can see what I've done. All I've done is take some of these things, bend the pin over, drill little holes, glue it, and then paint over those. So I used these connectors and bent those pins over. And it's a 1.5 millimeter hole that I drilled in it. So I drilled my 1.5 millimetre hole, glued in those connectors, painted over it, and that's how I made it. So that's now ready on this side to connect to the Arduino, and on this side to connect to my switch bus bar. So that what I've got is a voltage divider of 12 volts, straight down to 5 volts for the Arduino. Here's my ground wire, and it also drew about 16 milliamps, so this is also uh, a current limiting device. So it'll only draw um, six, only allow 16 milliamps through it. It'll limit the current that's going into the Arduino and limit the voltage. And <laughs> I think that's super cool, actually. It shows you really some of the things, if you think about it, that our ink can be used for. I mean, every time I use this ink, I'm just amazed by it, actually, what it can do. Now, just to go through this again, the voltage divider, it's the ratio of the R1 resistor, which is the resistor nearest to the supply, and the ratio of the R2 resistor, which is the one past going to ground. It's that ratio that dictates the voltage drop. Now, if I take these pins and put them at these pins, obviously it's, they're right next to each other, so 12 volts in, 12 volts out. As it goes down this line, that ratio increases. So I just have to find somewhere along that line where that ratio is right. And I can get that ratio just by putting it in a calculator on the web. So you want to make a voltage divider with an input voltage and a fixed output voltage. Go onto the web, calculate that um, ratio, and then because this is a straight line of equal thickness, you just measure the line and divide the line by the ratio that you've got, drill your hole in there, and you get your voltage divider. So I'm going to put that onto the Silar machine now and use that to get those control signals into the Arduino. So I just wanted to quickly show you it fitted to the machine. There it is. And here are the wires there going to the switches. And here are the wires that are going to come out to the Arduino. I think it looks lovely, actually. Isn't that awesome? But I thought I'd share that little bit with you because I thought it was uh, actually awesome, actually. Uh, being able to paint your own electronics is always impressive by me. And I thought I'd share it, so I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you very much.